Welcome to the comic miniseries The Life of Captain Marvel. This is issue 3 of 5. Still troubled by her father's letters, but determined to stay after her brother Joe awoke from his coma, Carol Danvers goes out on a run to meet up with her childhood friend, Louis. Louis tells her that it's time to drop the mystery of the letters, but Carol tells him that her mother knew about the affair that her father had. The two of them reminisce about the time they were children, and out on the water together, and they hold hands. Louis reveals that he has pined for Carol since he was a kid, and the two of them are about to kiss, when Carol hears the sound of a distant alarm. She realizes it's coming from her house, and rushes off to see what's wrong. She finds her mother in the garage, with the device Carol had found among her father's letters to the mystery woman. Her mom is upset, and tells Carol that the device belonged to this woman. Carol takes the device and throws it out of the skylight, but it flies up into the sky and lands in the ocean. As Carol's mother storms off to deal with her rage by herself, Carol talks to Joe. He reveals that he knew about the affair as well, but he didn't tell anyone about it. He takes Carol back to the day he found out. The three young siblings were out hauling traps, when they spotted their father on the shore with a woman. Joe tried quickly to shield Stevie and Carol from the truth. Carol was so young that she blocked out the whole memory. Elsewhere, a Cree drone has descended upon the town, right over Louis Donut shop. As he goes to investigate what it is, Carol confronts her mother once again. Her mother takes her down to the jetty again, and says that she is finally going to tell her the truth. She says that she never had any plans to stay with Joe Sr., and that she only ended up staying because she got pregnant. She thought she would be able to save him from himself. Carol starts having another panic attack, and falls into the water. She sinks deeper and deeper, and is sure she is going to drown. But her mother jumps in and rescues her. Just as she pulls her up onto the jetty, the drone attacks Louis. Carol rushes to save him, but when she destroys the drone, a dozen more appear. Carol decides to draw them away, as Louis and her mother escape. But they start to head towards her house. She quickly returns to find her mother standing outside, and successfully destroys the drones. But the creature that's been tracking her finally arrives. Carol tells her mother to go inside till it's safe, but she tells Carol that she can handle it. To Carol's astonishment, her mother dons a suit of armor and prepares for battle. It turns out, she was a superhero the whole time. And that's where issue 3 of The Life of Captain Marvel ends. Join us next time, as the secrets of Carol's family are revealed.